Um, the kids that I see during intercession are kids who need that more intensive instruction in reading, writing, and math. Um, they might not, not necessarily need it in everything, but they do get the intensive instruction. Well, I think they get the extra practice. Um, they, they have the chance to be in smaller groups to get the more teacher attention. Um, instead of having a three-week break and not being around any school, they get small little breaks that are fun. Um, and more hands-on work for them. It's kind of those kiddos that come that are just need a little bit more of a boost to get to that proficiency level so that's always nice because if they weren't here they would be at home and who knows if they're really reading and writing and mm -hmm. doing stuff at home. Uh, the difference is that you're kind of just able to do your own thing. We know the skills that we need to target but we don't really, there's no set curriculum, there's no here's what you have to do, you just kind of know what you're targeting and then you kind of do your own thing with it and that's kind of what makes it different. Also that all the kids are kind of at the same level too. They're learning it at a little deeper level and it's something that they're excited about because maybe it's something at their level they couldn't get with their class but with just some more attention and some more focus they can finally understand it. So when they get back into regular session maybe they'll be a little closer to their classmates or have a better understanding and not be far behind. So it's exciting to see that progress and just being able to focus on a couple standards. I was walking down the hall with one of my students that I had last year in fourth grade for all of the intercessions, and she's now a fifth grader. And I said, I cannot believe you're the same math student you were when you started a year ago. She has confidence in math, she feels good about it, and she actually likes it. <laughs> and that to me, and I'm seeing growth like crazy, so. Just that like light bulb that clicks with the kids, like when we were, when I was just teaching a lesson, the kids they got it and just then to go into the regular classroom and if I'm teaching that lesson again it's nice to have those intercession kids that they already know it and they can kind of be the experts and they can be the teachers and to see them get happy about it and they're excited to, to be the teacher and to learn that's that's the nice thing about teaching intercession is you can you see that in the intercession room and then you see it transfer over to the classroom. Like I said instead of getting a three-week break of doing nothing with school you know getting no no reading, no math or anything. They're getting that extra practice here and it's it's helping them out. I mean, instead of taking that break and doing nothing, they're getting extra work. So I think, I think it does help. They have grown a little bit more because they've had either two more weeks of reading, they've had another week. Some kids that don't come to intercession kind of fall behind because I hate to say it, but I'm not sure if they're really doing stuff when they get home. I think that they're just Maybe probably playing video games or whatever else. So I do see kids getting ahead with their reading. Just um, because I think it really helps our kids. Uh, there's a lot of kids that if they didn't have this intercession, there wouldn't be a lot of growth for them. And so that's probably my biggest reason for doing it is just to see that light come on in some of those kids. I think if kids and parents too can get the mindset that this isn't something to punish your child, we're asking them to come because we know they're so close and that they will be proficient. We've had a lot of support with it. Um, I really haven't had any parents tell me that, no, I don't want my kid to come. Most of the parents that come just want their kids to get better at learning and they'll tell me, you know, anything to, for help their education. I think in the long run, the kids that are coming to intercession want to be here. And if we can get them here and they want to be school in school and learning, that's number one right there. Um, we're creating an atmosphere of the love of learning. Where I teach fifth grade, what I like about it is um, here at Jefferson we do rotations with the third, fourth, and fifth graders. So I'm building those relationships with the third and fourth graders that we come back from intercession like, I can't wait to be in your room when I get to fifth grade and they're third graders. I'm like, oh, you got two years. <laughs> but we're building those relationships and then during the, the regular school year, not during intercession, those kids can come to you and they feel comfortable around you. And intercession um, works for us because we get them just in time and we um, try to fill those gaps. When we did a summer school in June, it was too late. They had failed all school year. They didn't feel successful in bringing them back for an entire month of let's get them excited for learning. It was too late. And so they still feel successful. They like school. The teachers target a couple skills and just focus on those and they don't maybe feel so overwhelmed and maybe they can feel they mastered something and feel that success about school. And then when they come back, they're excited to be here. And they've spent a vacation here, but they really do see school as fun while they're learning. Yeah, I've taken you know little strategies that I've taught where 
I wouldn't have been able to do it in a larger class. Like, wouldn't have, I guess, the guts to try it in a larger class setting without it just being a, a failure. So I've been able to try it in a smaller group, notice it, that it works, the benefits, and then I will break it down into my classroom and try it then. Sure, I know that out of my class, for sure, there were four kids that had never passed Nisaw reading. And when the, last year when they took Nisaw, they had come all three times last year and they, had, and they feel good about themselves at the end too. They know they worked hard and it paid off. So that's what was cool.